Good day, my name is Christopher, Youth Energizer for Tech for Agri. We are here today in the lovely Sangri Gandhi and we're here to see Mr. Mali Brown. As you can see, he has his own setup behind us. So we are here just to find out more about him. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Mali. I'm 32 years of age. I'm a registered nurse by trade, but I'm also a small-scale, home-based hydroponic farmer. I started hydroponics back in back about three years ago, where um, I started as a small-scale, watching YouTube videos and learning basically about people growing lettuce, pak choy, in a water-based medium. Um, I realized, listen, you don't have to do a lot of hard work. You don't have to do a lot of back-breaking work. You don't have to be on a tractor. So I decided this is the agricultural venture for me. Um, eventually I did a, a course with the Ministry of Agriculture just to see if they had anything different from the YouTube videos and then from there a year later I ended up moving to Grandi. When I moved to Grandi I noticed I have a lot of space in the back of my yard and from there I started my hydroponic systems. All right I have two systems two hydroponic systems basically in my yard. I have a Dutch bucket system and a flutter waste system. The Dutch bucket system is a recirculating system where you have the plants in buckets and you have an irrigation tubing carrying the nutrients to each plant and then it will drain to the bottom, go back into a PVC pipe which will go back to the reservoir and you'll have the system going over and over again once for the day. The second setup I have is a flutter waste system. The flutter waste system is where you have the plants in a growing medium, whether it be cocoa peat or sharp sand, and you have irrigation tubings carrying emitters to each bag. You'll basically wake up once for the day, turn on the pump, allow each bag to be completely soaked with nutrient solution, and the nutrient solution will be wasted coming out from the base of the bag, and that's it. That's your flutter waste system. I'm going to be talking about is my Dutch bucket system. Right? Dutch bucket system, as I said before, is consistent of buckets. Right? Each bucket has cocoa peat in it. The plants are anchored in the cocoa peat. You have a reservoir with a nutrient solution. It's circulating the nutrients to each bucket and then it will drain right back into this return pipe, straight back to the reservoir, and it's done on a timer system. So you just set it and forget it. All right, this is my second system and this is a profitable system. This is a flood to waste system. This system, basically, you'll have two tanks, one with nutrients, one with water. What I'll do, I'll come in the morning, I'll turn on the tank with the nutrients via the pump and I will irrigate each bag with the nutrient solution. The nutrients will flood each bag and it will waste at the bottom. And that's why we call it flood to waste because we don't recirculate the nutrients in this system. Okay, um, now the reason why I got into hydroponic farming is because one, as I said earlier, is a lot easier than actually planting the land. And secondly, you can actually make a significant amount of money from the systems that you, that you create because of the fact that you won't lose as much crops as you may when you're planting in the soil. And as well as farming could actually, or agriculture itself could actually bring your family together. And because I have these systems in the back now, I do have to do a lot of overtime and I don't have to see my family any less and they could actually be part, part of the system or part of the whole relationship and we could actually make money and have fun together. <laughs> 